We're back here for round number three. We won the die roll, obviously. On the play. Can we keep this hand? No, we cannot. But this sounds okay. I think I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this hand. Our opponent kept seven. Shipwreck looter, that card is abysmal. I think I'm gonna put it on the bottom. Alright, so I'm gonna lead off with Tranquil Cove. Pass. Next turn, I'll just preordain plus scary. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything too egregious. He's a red. Playing against burn. Well, this matchup's gonna be tough. <laughs> so, we'll cast preordain. Moth does changing. I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom because I just never want to draw that card. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many cards in this deck that are just so bad. <laughs> oh, Mata Changeling was terrible. Okay, so we go to 18. There's another mountain. Are they matching at least? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not like to pay. At least he, I guess he's using Mirrodin and the yeah, Mirrodin Basics with a Needle Drop. You know what? I don't think Needle Drop is a particularly powerful card. But, you know, sometimes. So we drop to. We're up to 15. I think I'm still going to pass the turn. We definitely need to draw um, cut burst here very quickly. There's definitely the option to, like, Giga Drowse him in his upkeep, but I don't think that makes a difference until we have a cut purse. These beard and basics are just clowning me right now. Yeah, down to 12. Maybe he starts passing the turn. Yes. Yes. There is a cut purse. So we're definitely going to try to set that up. We need to draw an untapped land, which would be insane. So I am just going to pass the turn here. So I'm going to do it now. Uh, no, I see, I can't do it now. Does it, like, oh my god, this is so frustrating. I'm just going to do it on his end step. We're going to get burned for a bunch, but hopefully that doesn't matter here. All right, so we're going to Giga Drowse this, and then two Replicates. One. This one targets this one. This one, and this one. Hopefully we did it right. We did it wrong last time. I think we got it this time. Ooh, he has nothing? Untap land. Oh, tech. Tech, tech, tech. Oh. How you do this to me, deck. How you do this to me. Never lucky. All right, Peppers. Do your worst. I don't know what he could have that he didn't just throw a bunch of burn spells in my face. But it's okay, because now we have a three mana. Maybe he just, like, taps him for a guy. That would be good. Like, you know, Marauders or something. It's tough to say. It's third mound, which is bad for us. Oh, well, or we just get destroyed by a Syrian Blaze. Okay. Not good. And he passes. Right. Well, that's also horrendous for us. We need to land here pretty badly. Okay, so this does us some stuff. We're pretty close to just dead here. He's got four cards. Oh. He's got four cards in hand. So we're going to evoke this Mull Drifter. Draw some cards. There's a Siren Lookout. We nearly, really needed that one. Two mana, two one no abilities. Okay, so if we're not dead, I'm going to be very, very surprised. Two mana. Curse of the Pierce Start. Yeah, we never beat that card. If 
Fire Blast, down to five, okay. The sacrifice he's beaten. <laughs> all right, we're dead. Man, this Fire Blast, all right. That's okay, that's okay, I have faith. Game two, no problem. We're not gonna go through with the pirates. We might. Okay, now the problem here is this we need the spreading seas are pretty good. We don't want these withdraws. They seem terrible. Also, oh my god, the rushing river also seems bad. Maybe it's better because it can bounce. The Russian River can bounce Curse. Ugh. Better than any of these cards, I don't think so. Maybe better than a Game Gross. Alright. I don't like it. I don't like it, but... That's what's gonna have to happen. Alright, I would like to play first, though. That's good. Maybe he just, like, mulls the three? Yeah, okay. I'll keep this in. Mulls to five, maybe? Maybe he just mulls to five. Or even maybe four. Or nothing. Well, he's gonna have to do 22 to us, which is a combination. We do get Siren's Lookout into Pirate's Cutlass, which is a bit of a clock if he doesn't just kill the Siren Lookout. I actually might delay this thing till turn four so we can cloud shift it. He's thinking, so his hand must do stuff. Ooh, forgotten Cave. He's probably low on lands. Run out this Tranquil Cove. Hopefully this Rhystic Study can just punish him. And making him deal us 22 hopefully punishes him. Hmm. Another weird in Mountain. Thermal Alchemist. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the removal spells out of my deck. Well, Rashad and Cut Purse there was a pretty good draw. So I don't think I'm going to waste that opportunity. I assume he just sacks a mountain, depending on if he's low on lands. Maybe he has to sack... Oh, he does sack the Alchemist. Okay, so that was pretty good for us. So it means he's short on lands. We may just get Searing Blaze here. Which would be bad. Ooh, Firebrand Archer. And no land. So this is good for us. Another Cloud Shift would be insane. Ooh! <laughs> oh, we're going to get him good here, boys. Boys, boys, boys. We're going to get him. Start off with the Cloud Shift. Please sacrifice a permanent. And then we're going to Siren's Ruse. Please sacrifice a permanent. And draw a card. Uh, we definitely did that in the wrong order. We should have, probably should have attacked first and waited to see if he blocked or not. But uh, you know what? That's okay. We got... Uh, we did some stuff with some things. No land. All right, so we get to hook up. We get to hook up the cutlass now. Maybe we don't want to hook cutlass up just yet. No, I think we just want to get Rashad and Rustic Study out there. Because this definitely punishes him for being low on mana. So that's good. Hiya! In cut burst. The problem here. So, like, this will be the actual indictment of the deck. If we don't win this game. This will be the indictment of all time. I would like to use your success. Ooh, Mothos Changeling. 
still has no lands. That means we are still kind of in bad shape. Um, maybe we just play this thing first. Get to explore. There's a surprise and scary which we'll put into play. And then cast this thing, which is a pirate. And then shoot the turn. There's a second land. So Rift Bolt. And then a Lightning Bolt, which I assume is going at my guy. Doesn't matter though, because we're turning whichever one he doesn't kill into a Delver. There's a Cut Purse, which is really good. We went to our face. Then we got Cut Purse. Oh. Oh. Achievement unlocked. Oh, achievement unlocked! Oh, this is insane! Yes, please sacrifice permanent. I'm just gonna like let him think we don't have anything. I'm gonna get in there with. Oh, I should have tapped. Well, you know what? We're gonna do it. Ha <laughs> ha! It has flying! <laughs> Goodbye, other land, and I draw a card. <laughs> oh, I wish you would Killing? Probably the cut purse. No, he's just going face. All right, no land. Ha <laughs> 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 Maybe we should part the journey to nowhere. But you know what? It's fine. <laughs> that was sweet enough. Oh, that's strange. Links. Oh goodness. He's probably, what do I do? This isn't fair. Uh, this is probably pretty good. We got the Spreading Seas. We're gonna play that Mana Denial game again. He also keeps seven. What a lucker. Oh my god! Man, these Mirrodin Mountains are on fleek. I wish I could paint it. Down to 17. But you know what? He's going to have to deal us a big 22 points of damage instead of 20 points of damage. So that's good for us. Hopefully he just doesn't have another land here. We have to spray season. No land. No land. No land. No land. Oh, oh no land! Oh my god. We, we may just get the auto scoops here. There's a chance we get the auto scoops. That would be the best win in Power Pondering's history right here. Spreading Seas your mountain. What do you got? Scoop? Nope, getting bolt. Okay. He's probably like, are you kidding me? This is real life? I'm getting beaten by the pirate deck? No land. Oh, never lucky. Never lucky. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Okay, so Preordain is going to find us spreading seeds. That's how this works, right? Cut purse. Pirate's cutlass. That on the bottom. I'm gonna put that on the top. I'm gonna play a Tranquil Cove. Go up to 16. Cast another prayer. Yep, bolted in response. Yep, down to 13. Cloud Drift Cloud. I will keep on top. 
And keep on top. So hopefully we just get to blow up a shit ton of his lands next turn. That would be fantastic. Hopefully he taps up or something. Tap up, tap up. Alright, well we can't do that now. So we're just going to cast Siren's Light. What does Siren Flicker do for us? I'm gonna put that in the graveyard, I think. We need to, like, definitely put some amount of a clock on him because we're in pretty bad shape. We're actually at 13, has 5 cards in hand. We're very good chance we're just dead. And none of them are lands, so. Now, if he does try to kill this Siren Lookout, we do. Nope, we're just going to 10. Hopefully he plays something. Land something would be ideal. Excuse me, make him sack three permanents on our turn. Curse the Pierce Shard, I will take that. So we are gonna go to nine. But he's gonna have no permanents left. Which is pretty sick. Oh, boys. We're doing it. We are doing it. So he sacks the island, I assume. We're going to run a cloud shift it. Please sacrifice another permanent. Probably sacks the mountain. But it don't matter. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Because you just got wrecked. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> Aha, Siren Lookout, you go. He falls to 18. Now the race is kind of on here for us. Doesn't have a land. No land. Okay, good. I'm going to preordain here. There's a cloud shift. We'll keep that on top. We'll put that on the bottom. Attack with both pirates. Put into 15, play another Siren Lookout. Gotta put that on top. So he knows if he plays a land, he can't spend it or it gets destroyed. Oh man, this is the full lock. And we did it! Oh, we got there with Pirates. That was sick. Well, guys. We got there with pirates. <laughs> that was it in its true glory. We locked our opponent out. No permanence. He had to scoop. Oh. Oh, that was glorious. All right, guys. We'll be back for the conclusion in just a second. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.